God's evening, people. You notice I'm wearing a, well, you probably can't see it, but I'm wearing a Kobe jersey today. And uh, unplanned, but I think it's fitting for what's on my mind today um, as I think out loud. Tomorrow's not promised. Later today is not promised. 20 minutes from now is not promised. So, what do we do in the meantime to make the best of our time? Hopefully we're spending it with those we love, doing what we love, and basically just finding the best way to enjoy the time that we have here on this earth. Um, I've said it before in, in, in some of my videos, but people who died today have plans for tomorrow. People who died yesterday had plans for today. So stop putting it off. And the things that you can do now, start doing. I was talking to a, a friend of mine yesterday, I believe it was, last night. And um, we were talking about another guy we know that died. He said he had just spoken to him earlier that day. And they were supposed to be linking up that evening. And then the guy died from a heart attack. He didn't plan to die from a heart attack. He had plans to link up with his friend and, you know, hang out or whatever. But he died from a heart attack. We don't control when that time comes. So, while we have time, let's maximize our time, make the best of our time, and enjoy our time. And while we're doing that, let's make sure that when that time does come, <laughs> that we're ready for it. Because the worst thing that can happen is that we get caught off guard in a situation where we don't know Jesus. That time comes and we have to explain why we don't know Jesus. And We've had all of these opportunities to get to know Jesus, and we chose not to know Jesus. Now, critics will say that it's all a hoax, you know, Jesus isn't real, this, that, and the third. Well, I tell you and I tell them, I'd rather live my life knowing that he is real, knowing that he does exist, knowing that when my time comes, he's going to speak on my behalf, than to live my life assuming that he doesn't exist, assuming that he isn't real, and when that time comes, I don't have anyone to speak on my behalf, because it does me no harm to believe in Jesus now. It could do a lot of harm later if I don't believe in. The choice is ours, though. He won't force it. He'll let us make the decisions that we think we need to make that are best for our life. But when we ask him to intervene and we're making decisions that aren't best for our life, He's going to slap that hand and say, hey, sit down somewhere. I got this. Trust me, I know that. He's done that to me a few times. And I think he's doing that to me right now. 
not as I speak, but in some other things going on in my life. Because sometimes I've taken things out of his hands and done my own thing. And I think he's making me realize that I did my own thing. That's neither here nor there. Um, point of the matter is, get to know the Lord, trust in the Lord, and maximize the time that you have right here. When that time comes, you would have enjoyed your life, and you are set up and prepared for eternal life to enjoy even more. That sounds like a great trade-off to me. Y'all have a blessed day. Make progress. Not excuses. Connect life.
Life.